because Queen Elizabeth's name is still used in investiture ceremonies instead of King Charles the royal family also announced a change in the insignia distributed. King Charles ascended the throne a year ago, but some aspects of his reign are still in transition. When the unveilings took place at Windsor Castle on Tuesday and Wednesday, Queen Elizabeth's name was still on the boxes containing the medals. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. Upon closer inspection, it was discovered that it read, by agreement of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. According to Gert's Royals, this is because companies can continue to use the Queen's royal warrant for two years after her death. The prestigious corporate award is the highest royal seal of approval and is synonymous with the sovereign who bestows it. Royal warrants date back to the 18th century and allow companies that have supplied goods or services to the royal household for at least five years to use the royal coat of arms, the coat of arms of the British monarch, shown on the boxes. King Charles, 74, has yet to issue his royal warrants as monarch, and His Majesty's shares will likely be used until they run out for durability reasons. On the first day of this week's inauguration, however, the royal family debuted something new, badges featuring Charles. Images of the King are starting to appear on medals presented to award recipients during investiture ceremonies, the courtiers wrote in a clip shared with X. This morning at Windsor Castle, the Princess Royal presented two medals of Royal Red Cross and two King's Police medals, all featuring the new design. In the caption, the King's team added that six new medal designs will be used for the 50 different awards presented at the investiture, replacing the images of Queen Elizabeth. Charles' mother died in September 2022 at the age of 96 after a record 70-year reign. The update marks the latest example of King Charles' likeness replacing that of Queen Elizabeth, following coins and stamps in the UK. Princess Anne held her investiture ceremony on Tuesday, a task that was passed to Prince William on Wednesday. Investitures recognize outstanding achievement, personal courage or service to Britain, and festive ceremonies take place throughout the year to celebrate those named in the Sovereign's New Year Honours List or Birthday Honours List. On Wednesday, the Prince of Wales, 41, presented medals with a significant detail on his military uniform, two royal numerals. Yar and Sar, the royal monograms of his grandmother and father, appeared on the right shoulder strap of his braided gold aiguillettes. According to Hello, the figures identify Prince William's role as aide-de-camp to Queen Elizabeth and King Charles. The Defence Ministry said the honorary positions were unpaid and would be awarded at the discretion of the monarch. While Queen Elizabeth appointed William as her aide-de-camp ten years ago, her honour from Charles is new. While it is unclear when the King awarded him the role, the Prince of Wales wore the double initials at his investiture in May and again at Trooping the Colour in June. Charles and Elizabeth's respective badges connect their first initial with the letter R, meaning Rex for King or Regina for Queen in Latin, plus their reign numbers. After the death of Queen Elizabeth last September on 8 October Charles immediately became King and the following day named his eldest son William Prince of Wales, the traditional title for the male heir. Although the two don't have a traditional father-son relationship, they are closer than ever. Talking about the future of the country and their future roles has strengthened their bond, a source who knows both King Charles and Prince William previously told people.